Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse. It's that time again. Time for a little breaky break. We're going to do our 2021 Top Strong Baseball Hobby six box PYT number three. All right, now I did uh, throw in a breaker pack giveaway in here because I'm nice like that. So let's open up the random. Gonna copy the name. <laughs> gotta copy the names. Yeah, I figured you guys would get along, uh, Gasper. All right, so all the names are in the random. This is for the breaker pack giveaway. So. Roll the die. We're going to go 11 times in the random. Top name wins the breaker pack. As always. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. All right, here we go. And the money shot. Boom. 11 times. CBK wins the breaker pack. Very nice. All right. I assume nobody wants to trade. So uh, let's do this. What is Hawkins? Get organized here. There we go. So from the top, middle, bottom. All right, my favorite part of the night. The pack stacking. Uh, well, Chase, I mean, the plan is for him, or I, I don't want to say plan, but the hope, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, if things work out, he'll be going live on Mondays and Tuesdays at the same time, Chase, 5 o'clock. But yeah, hopefully he can go live on, uh, on Mondays and Tuesdays. That way we have the channel going back again seven days a week. Yeah, you know, it'll be a little change of pace, too. You don't have to deal with me every day. I wonder how long it would take him to do this. I would say oh, an hour and a half, easy. I saw how he was going through that mosaic box. I'm like, damn, bro. You really don't have to go through, like, every name. That's, that's how you learn. That's how you learn. Oh, man. Fridays and Saturdays off were great. Yeah, but Fridays are sometimes release days, and a lot of people get paid on Fridays, too, so that was actually beneficial to, uh, to Jason.
Yeah, it was. I appreciate you, Cheeto. Alright, here we go. Alright, good luck, everyone. Let's see what we got here. I would like to have three days off. If I could get like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday off, that'd be awesome. But uh, one step at a time. Dalton uh, Jeffries, A's rookie autograph. That'd be I'm down for that chase. I wanted to go to the to the golf uh the golf club this you know my days off but I didn't have my car on Monday. I had to take it to the shop and they had to fix a few things there. And I also asked to get it detailed. So Monday I didn't have my car, so I pretty I basically just stayed home. I did go out later that night. My boy picked me up and we hit up a bar. We hung out there for a bit. But that was it. And then Tuesday I spent most of the day doing chores around the house and playing with Apollo. Waiting until they called me to get my car. Did that. And when I got back home, I started doing stuff for the for the website, for the store. And then actually, I went to go see a movie yesterday. I went out with a friend of mine. And we went to go see Candyman. And it was actually a really good movie. Like, seriously. Luis Castillo to 75 Reds. Candyman was a pretty good movie. I would suggest it to anyone that likes uh, horror or thriller movies. It wasn't really scary. Personally, I didn't think it was scary. But uh, it's definitely graphic. No, it's it's five times vintage, five times. Actually, vintage is not really a remake. It actually builds on the original movie. Funny enough, like it it it, it takes it, it it takes into account the first two movies. And then it just builds on it. Like, even the original characters from the first two movies. Like, it, everything is, like, part of the same universe, I guess. And it just builds on it. And it's very well done. Like, the cinematography of it, the music. Everything was very, very well done. Uh, Alex Vecchio Marlin autograph. Yeah, basically, basically vintage, basically. If you enjoy the original Candyman movies, then you'll like the the new version of it. The dude, uh, Jordan Peele. 
who helped, uh, who wrote that a uh, Get Out movie, and like a bunch of other movies that those guys have done. He helped produce it and write the screenplay, and you could tell. It's I, I I really I really liked it. It was a good movie. All right, so far one box down. As you can probably see, I chose to pack stack this. Otherwise, we'd be here all night. Uh, Patrick Weigel, rookie Braves autograph. So, how's everyone's week going? Tomorrow's Thursday. What you got going on, Chase? Got Ali Sanchez, Mets, rookie auto. Got a Sam Huff, rookie Rangers, blue to 150. Mike Clevinger, three ninety nine Padres. Shoot, I have no idea, Chase. I don't even know, bro. Probably uh man, probably that Derek Jeter card I hit earlier this year. That might be the biggest hit for your boy. I think it was like a Derek Jeter bat barrel, I think is what it was. I am on number three.
Tristan McKenzie, Rookie Indians, 499 autograph. Yeah, dude, I, feel, I mean, I've hit some pretty nice ones, man. Uh, Justin Fields, 101. There was a Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne. Uh, dual autograph I hit. Over the years, I've had some really nice stuff. Got a William Contreras, Brain Rookie Off. Shadow Padres to one another. Oh no. Rowley's back to triple A. That concludes that nap time. And on to box four. All right. 
should be enough for at least another box. Nice chance. You're feeling very, very sleepy, Chase. Your eyes are getting heavier and heavier. Patrick Corbin Nationals purple. It's a two hundred eighty-nine. Peter Weiner, D Bench Rookie Auto. Need more color in these autos. Got Austin Metals, Rays Green. Which is two ninety nine. Gotta get top loaders. Why are the Reds listed twice? It's a great question. I have no idea. Probably messed something up, Bob. Let me see. Here. I should have a note of this somewhere. Ah, here it is. Uh, this is three. So D bags go, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's out of there. And the D bags should be. Come on. That's my fault for not double checking this. I was helping Kevin out. Uh, so this goes to Raul. There we go. There we go. Matt Foster, rookie White Sox autograph.
Jack Peterson, Dodgers, number to three ninety nine. Two boxes left. Alright, let me get top loaders real quick. What is that? Let me get top loaders real quick. We are back. And this is getting out of control. Oh, oh, I read that already. Okay. No, oh, hell no. Nope, <laughs> not doing that. I'm going to order some food, but then I saw the delivery rate they're charging right now. I guess because there's no Uber drivers around. Yeah, forget that. I'll stop at a McDonald's or something on my way home. Very interesting.
Trenton Apostel. Rangers rookie autograph. Long big hit. I don't know if that's a big hit, but this has got some color on it. Here's Bubic Royals to 150. Action for my boy. Shin Yamaguchi Blue Jays to twenty five. Nice. A little color on that. Christian Javier Astro Rookie Auto. Come on.
I need to follow up on this Reds uh, deal here. I gotta follow up on that. I may have made a mistake. Guzman, rookie Marlins autograph. I think the Marlins are pretty good. They had like three autographs. Xander Bogert, Red Sox. It's a 350. Good. All right, so this is Gucci. Cool. Come on, Bowman Chrome. Little Otani action in there. Decent amount of color. Lowest number card is the Yamaguchi Blue Jays to 25. Decent amount of color in there. Alright. Autographs. I think we only had one. Stretch that. Two numbered autos. So we got Guzman, Javier, Apostel, Foster. Widener, Contreras, Sanchez, uh, Weigel, Vesia, Jeffries, a Tristan McKenzie, four ninety nine, and a Chris Bubik to one fifty. And there we go. That is the break. Thank you all. I'll get it out to you.